Do you want me to start from the beginning or? If you don't mind. I don't see how you can ever get any real justice or prosperity so long as there's private property and everything's judged in terms of money. Unless you consider it just for the worst sort of people to have the best living conditions or unless you're prepared to have a country prosperous in which all of the wealth is owned by a tiny minority. My name is Awate, I'm a rapper and I grew up in Camden. Quite a lot of the people involved in the project are people who who should get the call and get asked, hey, what do you think about the area? What do you think about art? What do you think about culture? What do you think about housing and poverty and, and how it all mixes and intersects? I am from Slovakia. I've been living in London for about 16 years now. So my name is Milik Sankara. I'm 26 years old. I'm a spoken word artist, an actor and a creative practitioner. I wanted to share my story because I think it's similar to a lot of young people uh, living in London. Pulling it out there, so again, people hearing uh, stories that they can relate to, you know, and ultimately not feel they're alone in London. Well, my name is Eric Robinson and uh, I had a very wonderful early life uh, making uh, motion pictures. I suppose I'm a graduate. I guess. Uh, well, actually, it's been a year and a half, so I don't know how long it, you can be a graduate for uh, until it runs out. So I guess I'm just an unemployed person. <laughs> I, I get the impression with Penny that she sort of picks up on things, and I suppose she picked up on something interesting with me, which I didn't even see myself. It's a rare thing for someone to come up to you and actually take the time to listen to your story. I am... 47 years old, a stay-at-home mum. I have two kids, a dog, a husband, and yeah, that's me. The project, for me, represents that there are lots of different walks of life and lots of different stories, and in a way, it's an opportunity to tap into those stories because also in big city life, you can walk by the same person every day and never acknowledge them. And this is a way, because I'm kind of nosy too, so you can open the door and find out something about them. And that can be quite enlightening and uh, quite touching. People have so much things to offer, so many life lessons and experiences. And it's only when you sit down and actually engage with people and have a conversation that you realise that and nobody does it anymore. So a project like this is a great excuse to witness all of that.